Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we are going to discuss how to take input from the user in JavaScript and today we are going to use radio buttons for that. So before we begin make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Code. So without any further delay let's get started. In the last video, we discussed how we could take user's input with the help of text boxes. We know the use of document.getElementById method to access any particular element with the help of id, right? So in this tutorial, we will see how we can use radio buttons to take input from users. Now HTML radio buttons are created with the help of input text and the type for creating radio buttons is radio. We can use radio buttons on multiple occasions. For example, we can create a quiz question using a radio button. At one time only a single radio button will be selected and we can use it to find the correct answer. So today we will use radio buttons along with the id attribute and then we will create a javascript function to find the correct answer for a quiz. So without wasting any time let's move on to the programming part. So first we will see how to add radio buttons to a html document. In the html file we will write here input type is equals to radio and then we have value is equals to let's say option 1 because we are using multiple options right we have multiple options for a single question or we have multiple options here so we'll write value as option 1 and then we'll write here the value we want to print so we'll write here option 1 fine save it and we have a radio button over here you can see we can check it and it has no functionality till now. So let's add another button first. So what we'll do, we'll copy this line from here and we'll paste it and then we'll change the option as option 2 and the value also as option 2. Right. Save it again and here you can see we have two radio buttons now. Let's add a submit button here first. So we'll write here input type is equals to button and then we have value is equal to submit. Save it and here you can see we have a submit button as well. One thing you might notice here is we can check both the text boxes, right? We can check option 1 and option 2 both at the same time. So if we want to select only one checkbox at a time, we have to group them. So we'll use the name attribute and the same name for these two radio buttons. So the name will remain the same for both of these radio buttons. So we'll write a name is equals to let's say G1 and then we'll write here as well. We'll write a name is equals to G1. Now these two radio buttons belong to the same group. Save it and now if you try to check both these boxes you can see we can't do it now because we have grouped them and now we can select only one radio button at a time. Right. Now the next thing we are going to do is we'll move to a JavaScript file and we'll create a function there. So we'll move to a JavaScript file. So here's our JavaScript file and we'll create a function here. So let's do it first. So we'll write here function. Let's say the function name is fun1. Fine. And then we have the body of this function. So inside this function we'll write here we'll take two variables again for both the elements so we'll write here where x and then we'll write here document dot get element by id then we'll write here the id so let's provide the id to those elements as well so we'll write here uh, before name we'll provide the id so let's say the id for the first radio button is red one and the id for the second one will be let's say red Fine. Save it and we'll go back to our JavaScript file. We'll write here red1 and then we'll take another variable. We'll write here where y is equals to document dot get element by id method and then we'll write here the id. So the id for the second radio button is red2. Fine. We don't need the value property here. Next up we have to use 
the if else statement to print something right so we'll write here we'll use the if else statement we'll write here if and then we have x dot checked is equals to is equals to true then it will return something right so we have a condition here as if x dot checked is equal to is equals to true this particular statement will check if the radio button whose reference is available at variable x is selected or not this dot checked is the property for a html element if the radio button is checked the output will be something so let's add the output here as well so the output will be if the radio button is checked will be like we'll write here alert then we'll write here the option selected is then we will write here x dot value so it will print the value of x as well now we have another condition here we'll write here if y dot checked is equals to is equals to true then it will return the option selected is we'll write here plus y dot value we are doing this because we have three different conditions here right if we select option one or if we select option two or if we are not selecting any of these options right so we have a else condition for that and then we'll write here else so here we have to write else if and then we'll write here else and else part will print alert no option selected save it and let's do one thing first we'll call this function with the help of on click method so we'll go back to html file and we'll write here in this element we'll write here on click and we'll call this function on click so we'll write here fun one and we have this function here save it and here we are good to go so if we move back to our javascript file you can see here we have three conditions either x is checked or y is checked or none of these are checked so let's check the output now we'll select option one first we'll submit it and here you can see we have the output as the option selected is option one fine press ok then we'll refresh this page and we'll select option two and now we'll press the submit button so here you can see on selecting option 2 we have the output here as the option selected is option 2 right so what if we are not selecting any of these two radio buttons so click the submit button here and you can see we have the output as no option selected so i hope you guys got it now the syntax will remain the same if we want to create a quiz so next up what we are going to do is we are going to create a quiz so here is the code if you want to create a quiz on your own so we have a question here we have a question as javascript was developed in the year and then we have two options for it we have 1998 as first option so if we go here you can see we have the first option is 1998 and then we have another option is 1995 obviously we know the answer for it as 1995 we'll change the function name here as fun one and save it the javascript file for this code will look like this so we have three conditions here again if x is checked then the output will be wrong answer and the correct answer is y and then we have another condition for y if y is checked or we can say if 1995 is checked we'll have the output as right answer and then we have another condition if none of these radio buttons are checked we have the output as no option selected so let's see if the code works fine so save it and we'll go to the browser so we'll select option one first so we'll select this 1998 submit it and here you can see we have the output as wrong answer the correct answer is 1995 right we have the value of y here the value variable y is holding is 1995 so we printed it over here and we have the output as y dot value which is 1990 so if we refresh it and if we select 1995 here then we'll press the submit button and here you can see we have the output as right answer fine press ok and we are going to do it again so 
This time we won't be selecting any of these options. We'll just click on the submit button and we have the output as no options selected. Fine. I hope you guys understood it. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we will take inputs from select box in JavaScript. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments below. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe Simply Code. Thank you.